we're going to move on to our next topic and we'll trans transition back to in but for now i want to transition to something kiko is going to be really excited about and that is the hot toys artisan wanda but i have a question i think that will lead into what happened with with the drop which overall kiko i would say it went pretty well i mean i, I don't some people got kicked out here and there overall but i think overall a lot of people did end up securing the bag and getting this artisan wanda that they wanted some people missed out unfortunately but that's always how it's going to be with these artisan drops it they're limited that's just how it is right oh hello sam sam probably can't hear me but yeah hello, hello how are you good how are you good dude good. isn't she amazing look at this what is what is that macaroni baked potato and fried chicken i didn't even know sam Wait, you're eating people. in the middle of this <laughs> i'm hungry well dude, so dude. am i i'm delaying my dinner today. oh <laughs> damn it's my lighting josh, josh is unprofessional bro you should know this about him it's fine like it's just it is who he is well but some people take this serious if you're not sam, nice i'm gonna turn this into an asmr stream <laughs> i don't know if sam can hear me but sam i told everyone that you held my hand and josh was fine with it so ties in the chat I can Ty see. says hi. <laughs> see? Uh, yes, I did. I felt so bad uh, during that ride. I was like, oh my gosh. Uh, yeah. Will, Will might not be no more, so I'm going to hold his hand. Yeah, it was, I, it was very appreciated. I promise you. Okay. Very appreciated. Yeah. Okay. But nonetheless, guys, so Wanda, we're going to talk about this artist and figure. So, Kiko, I got to start with you, bro. I know we've kind of addressed this question a little bit before, but I kind of want to tie back into it with this Wanda thing. Because, look, there's the prototype photos that we saw, right? And I also want to share another photo that uh, had popped up on Facebook that Hot Toys was sharing around that I think honestly portrays the figure in just a really positive light overall. But, uh, you know, we're all going after these artists and figures thinking, oh, they're absolutely going to nail this. Kiko, I know in your case, you bought the sculpted and the artisan version. So are we, are we assuming too much here? And do you think uh, the sculpted version could end up being the superior option here? It certainly could, which is why I didn't want to take a chance on it. Um, we don't have anything in hand to compare it to. And I know so many people, I know Daniel's in here, so many people want the, you know, Batmans to release. I know that's not necessarily talking about, you know, one for one, but they want to have the Batmans release so they can officially compare in art to Hot Toys and say, okay, here's an offering, here's an offering, how did they do? That type of thing. So we don't have even that yet. All we have is literally a new Wonder Woman, which is not an artisan, and we have like one and a half releases from InArt. And that's it. That's what we're looking at. So it's kind of no one has a track record at this point. We all saw what happened to my Joker. And it took some futzing to get situated. Everyone saw, you know, initially how your styling of the hair and the beard was with Gandalf. People didn't like that. And uh, people I got, got some, I got some flack about that. You did. And so <laughs> no matter what, people are going to complain about how it's displayed. Now, you're looking at this. This is not a product photo. This is a display photo. And I would say, looks pretty damn good. But I don't know how it's going to be packaged. Well, we know how it's going to be packaged in the little, the little head boxes. But I hope so. We don't know what it's going to turn out like. No one's got one in hand. We're a year at least from any of these artisan figures. So it's all speculation at this point. So what I wanted to make sure is that for a character that means so much to me like this, I was not going to get this in hand be like, oh, no, look how terrible this is. I wish I had the sculpt. I'll have them both, and I can make that decision from there. I'm hoping that's going to be. But outside of just thoughts and prayers, you don't got nothing. There is nothing to hold, to, hold it to, and you're just hoping. And so we're probably going to have this conversation, honestly, for the next 18 months about, okay, so... It looks like they uh, released their first artisan figure. And, you know, it's going to take a little while to get their their legs. You know, can we expect them to continue this type of quality? Or you, these are the topping points, you know, 18 months from now. You know, it's, you know it's going to be. Yeah. So, I don't know, man. I'm a little nervous, but I'm hopeful. Because you see something like this, it looks okay. Now, when they showed the Sideshow Con and they showed Artisan <laughs> Anakin beforehand, I'm like, whoa, that is not going to be good. And... We don't know. There, there may be all these people that got all these artisan Anakins that are like, fuck, this sucks. You know, where's the sculpted? We don't know. Yeah. We just don't know. We don't, bro. We don't because, again, Hot Toys yes, track record. It's you, a Hot Toys exclusive. So I mean, going to be a Toy thing. Fair exclusive but, in a year. But the qual the quality, Josh, are we are we sure this is going to be a banger like we're thinking? Dude, I don't, I'm not a rooted hair figure. I don't know why people go nuts for it. Well, because like, it looks more lifelike, bro. That's why. It, when done it? well. When done well. Yes. Does it? 
Yeah, dude. Fuck yeah. Okay. Like I'm looking at this Pennywise and this Gandalf, bro. I can like, confirm yeah. that in our Joker rooted looks a million times better than the skull. Okay. It just does. It I don't have does. it in hand, so I can't say well, like for certain me, hairstyles, I certain hairstyles for certain characters. Yes. If it's a shorter hairstyle, then not as much, but yeah, the, sorry, Josh, go ahead. I just don't care for rooted hair. Like it, like I get it looks realistic, but like it's, I get the same joy out of the piece regard, excuse me, regardless of this is why you don't eat during a stream. <laughs> <laughs> See, Kiko knows better. Kiko knows. Regardless of, you know, if it's rooted hair or not. And we, we discussed this, like, you know, are you going to get the same emotional value out of it with rooted hair versus sculpted at the end of the day? Because like, I would much rather save the money. It's kind of like what's going on with prime one with bonus editions, right? For me, I don't need Joel, Joel's ax for $200. <laughs> I do. <laughs> I'd rather save $200 than have a swap out ax. I'm definitely going to be using the pipe. Right. So, um, I don't think it's bad at all. I think the artisan line is really cool. It's just, I feel like it's a lot more hype than it is actual value. Um, Cause I'll tell you right now, like the it's a hundred dollar difference here between I'm sorry, about a hundred dollars, a hundred dollar difference. And I feel like that's worth it. And that that's fine, but I'm not, I'm not saying it's not worth it. I'm saying, I think people are going absolutely ape shit over rooted hair just for the sake of the tag saying it's exclusive. A hundred percent. Could be I, like, like, and at the end of the day, people are going to get both and they're going to get the same joy out of both. Same exact value and level of joy. I don't know. I, I get joy it. knowing I have something someone doesn't. So. Except yeah, Kiko for Kiko. Does love Kiko's that. an outlier. <laughs> <laughs> doesn't care about price and he likes the exclusive shit. Yeah, Kiko is, yeah. He's a special type of collector. But, yeah. but we're not allowed to have lottery though. Correct. I to, want a chance. It has to be exclusive, but not too exclusive. Kiko nailed the lottery this time. I don't know how many tabs you had. You got Kiko. it. Oh yeah, you got it. Yeah, I had Kiko six had. tabs. I basically <laughs> I had six tabs. Um, basically three devices: one Firefox, one Safari, one Chrome. No, that's nine. Isn't then. it based so, on IP? No, I thought it was too. It's not. Nope. Um, it's Josh, I can random. open like Kiko has two. I open a Google Chrome and a Firefox, and it gives me two different places in line. Correct. And I so, took the lower of them. I, didn't I kept do them anything. open until I was in. So I kept all mine <laughs> open until I was in. Well, Josh, the community loves Kiko so much that even if he didn't secure that. Wanda, someone would someone would get him. him. See, someone I don't know that love. <laughs> <laughs> Dude. Well, that's because you're a retailer, bro. It's so different. I have I have to be realistic. I don't get love. <laughs> well, you don't even want six scale figures, so it doesn't even matter. But even I don't get love depends. either. You can see I some still of the have... comments on some of my videos. <laughs> I I still have my Deadpool and Iron Man. You have two six scale have... figures? I do. Why? Wow. my Randy's donut. Really? Iron Man okay. sits in the Randy's donut I had made. Nice. Okay. Well, I mean, hey, I'm impressed nonetheless. But Josh, I mean, with this, uh, what are you thinking? I mean, are you thinking the sculpted is going to be better? Are, like, I, is this artist in line? Is it's working? It's generating hype for Hot Toys. What do you think? I think it's super cool, but I feel like when these actually release, I don't know how many they're making. Right? Like, and we also don't know if it's a tactic because just because it says waitlist. We had a discussion on this before about waitlist manipulation. Right. This is different. They're claiming within the first like 10 minutes that these are selling out. They can absolutely manipulate the waitlist and cause conversions. Right. And if I were a retailer, I would be smart about it and just do one fat waitlist in like six months and call it a day <laughs> and have nothing else add to cart. Like right when they actually start production. And I think that's what's going to happen with these. Because I hope so, because I'm on the wait list for Artisan Anakin. They, again, in the end, this is business. This is not; these figures are not being made by collectors in passion. These are businesses. Okay, that's the reality. No one thinks about. They wouldn't just release this, knowing that there was this much hype, and then not make more after ten minutes, especially when there's no edition size. Again, if, if there, there is was an edition size, size, I would believe it. I think there, there is, is this one's 2500. Yeah, 2500. Is it are they numbered? They're not no. numbered. That we don't know then that. Then there's yet, not okay? an edition size. <laughs> I know that, but still, I mean, well cuz you never know Kiko. Josh has raised that point. It is valid. Like you don't have any way of knowing. There's like, no actually... certification saying that this is X out of 2500. It might be and under I the doubt base. they're you counting me like it's mine my bases have the edition numbers. The bases but... do. Sure. But not this figure. They're not in the factory going, "All right, we've made 2500 head sculpts." Now we got to make 2,500 bodies. Well, we need to pop that bitch off and put it like under the chin or something. Like, well, we <laughs> they're not going to. Yeah, so when I, when I see something and they say it's numbered and then it's not numbered, 
that's like getting a signature. That's like buying a signed piece of like memorabilia with no certification on it. It is absolutely worthless without a certification. Mm. Because you're just taking the company's word. Yeah. You're just taking word. And I'm sorry. Like I am a collector. I want to know there is value in my number. Simple as that. Right. If there is no proof of that and you can't prove that there are 2,500 in some other way, well, we're like ne- holding e- even all the things you're talking about, but we're, it's not like, a, all right, everyone come to the warehouse. We're going to, here's 2,500 of them. Come and get you talking about statues. Like, just everything in general. Yeah. You're, you're but never going to know that. Yes. Because there's numbers that. on them. So if it I ever got that. out, no, but it's no, true. How, because we if, have to destroy pieces that are broken. If it ever got out that there were two of the same number on the market, it would ruin a company's reputation. It would absolutely annihilate them. Why wouldn't, they just, the them. Way, then? Why wouldn't huh? they just do the same thing then? Who? Like Hot Toys, for example, like for these. I don't know. That's why it's very confusing to me. <laughs> well, it could just be they want to make more and just not. It have could be know. that they yeah. want to make more and not say anything. Right. Right. Because there's no way to verify that 2,500 so have been so made. You're saying they're not wor- it's not worth the risk for them to go into the certification of said number. Because as you said, if they end up no, getting I'm out saying, that two numbers that are the same, then that's the end of it, right? I No, no, no. What I'm saying is if you're going to claim something is limited to X amount, I don't believe a single bit of that unless there is some kind of certification somewhere saying that. Right. We're on the same on, page then. Right. Yeah. If the, so the like, statues, yeah. they're numbered. And even when we report damages, we have to report the number, the addition number, and we have to show the box with the addition number as well as the bottom of the base. It is very, very focused. And you can, and the other reason we have addition numbers is so you can track what retailer ordered what. It's right. literally almost like inventory count. Like it's more than just an addition number. When I see something and they say, it's worth this. Oh, it's out of this. Well, there better be fucking certification. Otherwise, it's not. Right. Right. Because, yeah, you don't have any way of knowing, really. You have no way of knowing. I think they're saying it's 2,500. And I'm not trying to slander them either. It very well may be true. But how are they verifying that? How are even they verifying 2,500 figures? Well, we don't have an artisan figure in hand yet. Maybe they will number it. Yeah, we have no idea. If they number it, awesome. If they don't, yeah. to me as a collector... Like, so right. for the next 18 months, we will continue to have these conversations. <laughs> we just don't Wait know. for the next artisan drop, bro. We'll bring it up again. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Sorry. No, it's I'm crazy. just going to eat now. Dude, it does. It does. I wish I could uh, taste it, but I'm not Do there. You hear I'm gonna, that? I'm gonna, what, what, what did she make you there? I'm going to fly to Georgia. So yeah, I I'm told you. To... Fried chicken. Yeah. Loaded baked potato, macaroni, and veggies. I can it smell. I can smell. I can't smell anything. I can I can <laughs> hear the, the macaroni smack in the... Dude, that's how you know it's good. Bro. Sounds lit. How you know it's good. So good. It's <laughs> yeah. so good, guys. We dude. should all have this together. Everyone oh, dude, in chat. I'll, I'll fly to Georgia to... to you don't to need to fly here. Stay away from my food. Make it yourself. Dude, no. Sam will make me some, bro. We held hands. We had a connection, <laughs> so it's fine. <laughs> She'll make me food. Yeah, guys, <laughs> thank you so much for your thoughts on that one. 